Hi, and thanks for watching my video today. Today I'd like to make a very brief video talking about something that I see on Facebook BeamMG communities where a lot of, it appears to be new players to BeamMG, have a common question about speed bumps and how do you use the speed bumps and you see these videos with guys that make hundreds and hundreds of speed bumps in a row and run their cars into them. I recently made one, uh, about a week ago I made one. And um, I understand the confusion that a lot of new people may have because, well, let me just pause this and let me explain what I'm talking about. If you go to the um, BeamMG, uh, or if you go to Google, just type in BeamMG speed bump and you'll come up to this, speed bump 1.0. Just download it and put it into your mod. It's the same as a vehicle, it's the same as any other mod. When you come back to the game, let's let this guy go. Let's get away from him. And just let him do his own thing. Let's come over here. Um, so go to your deposit repository where you keep your vehicles and you'll see I'm not sure where the speed bump's located, so let's just... Here's the speed bump. Now, I am not going to spawn it, because if I do, it will... it bombs my game. I have, I've never had any luck with the speed bump mod that you download. Um, I've, been, I've got over, almost 3,000 hours in BeamMG, and I've never been able to successfully work with this speed bump. Maybe it's just my computer. You can try... I don't know what that was all about. Oh, 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 yeah, he made it. Um, so what I do when I want to do anything with a speed bump is I usually come to a level that has a lot of speed bumps in it. And uh, this particular level that I'm on right now is called Feel the Bumps. And as you can see, it's loaded with speed bumps. It's just the same speed bump. There's some over here, a couple right there, one right here, and these real big ones right here. I have this Jeep right here programmed into the script AI, so it would just drive itself around on a predetermined ta uh, path that I set for it. So it would just keep going and going and going. Um, but anyways, so if you want to, first of all, and also I want to say that this video is for mostly targeted towards uh, new people uh, to BMMG. So first you would bring up F11 to bring up your script editor and just click on a speed bump. Um, up here you can see this is the translate key. You can press number two and that will bring you to your rotate key and you can press number three on your keyboard and that will bring you to the scale key. So let's press number one and come back to the speed bump. And if you hold down uh, shift and press on this blue, grab this blue arrow with your mouse and pull up, you'll make a copy. So once you have a copy of a speed bump, if you want to make, you know, 100 speed bumps in a row, just drag it outside this level out there on the other side of that wall. And we'll go out there right now. We don't need to drag that speed bump with us because there's already one out here. Because here is a scarecrow and this is the speed bump thing I made a couple days ago on my video. So we'll just use one of these videos. Uh, I'm sorry, one of these uh, speed bumps right here as an example. So let's just say I drag this one out here. So if you have it out here, you find a big flat area where you want to make your, your speed bumps in your video, if you're going to make a video, and start to copy it just over and over and over. You know, you can bring it up to the surface, and once you have it there, just line it up with a line, nice and neat, so you have everything symmetrical and even. And then while you're up here, you can see you're on translate, which is key number one. You can see the arrows. Press shift, grab your green arrow, press down on your mouse button, and just slide it over. Make another one. And then do the same thing. Shift, green arrow, make another one. If you want to make it quicker, just while that one's highlighted, hold down control, 
Press on that one and that one. Now you got all three selected. Press Shift. Go to the green arrow. Press down your mouse button. Now you got six. While those three are selected, press Control. Highlight that one, that one, and that one. Now you got six. Press Shift. Grab that green arrow. Down on the mouse button. Come over. Now you got 12. Same thing. You get the idea. And that's how you make rows and rows and rows and rows of uh, speed bumps. Now remember, I don't use the mod because it bombs my computer. If you can spawn the mod speed bump and do what I'm doing, then use that. If not, come to a level like this, which is feel the bumps, and I will put a link to this down in the description, and just do what I did. Oh, my computer just glitched. Um, let me get rid of this Jeep. That might be what's causing my computer to act funny. Um, so if you want to resize them, you can see how how my speed bump gets bigger and bigger and bigger. You just use your keys. So we'll highlight this one. And remember, it's one, two, three. Number one is translate. Number two up here is uh, rotate. And number three is scale. So we're going to change it to number three. We're going to press number three on the keyboard. And you're you're going to see these are going to turn into little squares. And there you go. So that's how you scale them up. Press shift. Actually, I don't think you have to press. No, you don't have to press shift. Just drag your mouse button. And that's how you make them bigger. And press number one if you need to move it around. And that's just the basic fundamentals. For any of you who are just getting started with BeamMG and have any questions about speed bumps, I hope this helps. Remember, this is just um, a very rudimentary example of what's capable of being done in BeamMG. You can see this is the level. Feel the bumps. It's a really cool level, got lots of neat things in it. But I'll put a link to my a uh, couple of my videos down in the descriptions that might help you understand a little bit more about this. Nope, oh, there's the Jeep over there. So anyways, thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe.